All right, guys, welcome back to Little Ian Rose. My name is Summer Noel, and today I'm going to teach you how to get a nice, clean rim on your cups and how to clean the inside of the cup. So there's a few options here. I'm just going to dive right in, guys. No fanfare. If this is the first tutorial that you've seen of me, and you're like, wow, those are gorgeous cups. What is this guy, lady talking about? Um, I do a whole channel on teaching you guys how to make this type of cup. Um, you'll see them as I go through this tutorial on cleaning them. I got some really gorgeous ones. Um, so I teach you how to decorate these cups and make them beautiful. Um, and it's all done with glitter and epoxy and stickers and all kinds of fun stuff. So if this is the first video of mine you're stumbling upon, go ahead and jump on my uh, YouTube channel. Right below this uh, tutorial, it says Little Lee and Rose. That is my tutorial uh, shop name. And you can click on that. It will take you to all my other videos. And it will walk you through all these incredible designs to put on these uh, stainless steel tumblers or glasses or plastic sippy cups. I work through it all, you guys. But a lot of questions um, I get in my Facebook group. So I have a Facebook group for mentorship and support to help you guys grow, ask questions, and uh, perfect your craft. And uh, again, that link is below as well, guys. Um, so a lot of questions I get are about getting a nice, clean edge. Now, um, they all are different. This is a wine glass. I used it um, on my tumbler turner, which you'll see in all my other videos. And uh, the epoxy kind of attaches on the edge to whatever is holding it on. Um, or you have something like this where there's a bunch of paint inside. This was done with a hydro dip. Um, again, all these techniques, you guys, are on my channel on how to get these beautiful cups. Um, so you've got stuff like this, and some have, like, this one has glitter and epoxy and paint on the inside by the time you finish it. Now, this one is ready to go out for an order. Um, actually, a couple of these are, ready to go, are about to go out for an order, but you guys requested to see an entire tutorial just on cleaning the lips of these cups. So I'm going to oblige. Um, we're going to start with this cup. So we're going to use a bunch of different tools because there's a bunch of different ways and different things that you run into. Um, we've got acetone ready. The only time I ever use acetone on the cup is the very, very, if I'm stripping a cup, that's one, you can use it for stripping. Or two, at the very end when I'm just cleaning the inside. You don't want to get acetone anywhere on the outside of this cup because it, would de it will degrade your uh, epoxy. Uh, if you're wondering why I sound like Darth Vader and I'm breathing, it's because I am wearing a chemical mask because I'm going to be uh, working with uh, heating up some of the epoxy at some point, sanding the epoxy, and you don't want to breathe in the sanded dust, and you don't want to breathe in the vapors that come from heating up epoxy. Now, it's very rare that I have to heat up the epoxy, but if for some reason there's a big chunk on the inside, sometimes I have to heat it to um, get it to soften up a little bit to remove it so we don't break the seal, okay? So um, here we go. At the very least... Um, if you're just going to be sanding, you need to be wearing one of these nice little paper masks. That will keep the dust from going down in your lungs. Um, so that we're going to put that to the side because I am wearing a full-blown chemical mask. Um, so I don't need it. You're going to also use this really cool uh, rotary tool. This is called Drill Master. Um, I use this almost every day with working on my cups when an order is about to go, go out to clean the edge and get it ready. It's also really, really handy uh, for working on uh, repairs on your cup. So if a customer drops a cup or you mess something up, you can grind it out with this wonderful little tool and you will see me use this um, as we go. So there's that, it's the Drill Master. It comes with all these different types of bits and heads for sanding, buffing, um, detailed, like if you have like one little dot that you need to get out, this will drill out that little dot. Um, it's an extremely handy tool. I try to bring it out every day, like I said. Uh, we're gonna use an X-Acto knife. This is just a cheapy little X-Acto knife that I got from the dollar store in the hardware department. Uh, sandpaper, dollar store, hardware department, guys. The acetone you can get anywhere, CVS, uh, Walmart, uh, anywhere that's any drugstore or big store will have it. Target will have it. Then I get this little pump. It's really nice. You can just push down the top. It dispenses as acetone as you go. And uh, that's from the dollar store as well. Then you have this butane torch. Uh, this is really easy to fill. You just get by like Zippo uh, butane filler. Uh, I buy mine at Lowe's. Uh, but you can, I also have it linked to Amazon because it's a lot easier to shop and find there. This is just a kitchen torch for like creme brulees, but it works perfect. It's nice and light. Um, it's easy to control. Uh, so I use this in all my tumblers as well. You see it in all my videos. Then we're going to use cotton pads. Again, the only time I use cotton is at the very end when the tumbler is done. If I have to do something with the tumbler before, I use coffee filters because coffee filters aren't made with any fibers that will get loose on the cup because any little fiber is going to give you um, a holiday on your cup. Um, so, uh, at the very end, I use these cotton pads. So I'll be using the cotton pads today. 
Uh, so let's just jump in. So this one is a hydro dipped cup. Um, this one is used with water and paint. And that's how we get that beautiful swirl. If you don't know how to hydro dip, jump on my channel. I do a whole tutorial on hydro dips. Also my Facebook page, I go live and do my hydro dips a lot. Um, so this one doesn't seem like it has too much epoxy on the lip. We'll see it more once we get all the paint out. So I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to use the cotton pad and load it up, oops, with the acetone. And we are just going to go right on the inside and just rub the edge. and get that paint out of there. So there's ways to do this and not get the stuff on the inside. Some people use Vaseline. Uh, some people put Mod Podge on the inside. Uh, some people use a bag. When you hydro dip, you can put a bag over the lid and put it in. Honestly, guys, it takes more time to fiddle fart with all that stuff than it does to just do this. So that's why I don't use any of those crazy little techniques. They work, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just not my style. I find this to be a lot easier. So some of the parts with the paint are going to be a little more stubborn because they're probably a little bit thicker. With that, you just rub it a little extra so you can see the inside is now clean of paint, but you can see we've got a little bit of epoxy right along here on the edge. So I'm going to put this little pad off to the side. Um, I'm going to take my gloves off for a second. I don't really need the gloves on. I only wear the gloves because of my nail polish and the acetone. Um, okay, so what we want to do is now take our X-Acto knife. This looks like it's going to be pretty thin, so I don't think we're going to have too much of a problem. You don't want to force it ever, because if you have to force cut that ep epoxy, um, it will most likely break your seal. So you just want to gently, very gently, X-Acto knife the edge, and if it, if it gets stuck and doesn't want to go, don't push it. Just let it be, and I will show you, uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to come across a big clump at some point in one of these tutorials to see what happens. So you just want to just slowly just kind of saw your way through it very carefully. Okay, so now that one's separated. So then I get there and I just clean that off very, very gently, very, very carefully. If you push, again, you will break your seal. So just kind of gently push and saw up and down. You can see I'm kind of doing like a cutting motion just to keep it gliding through. Clean that off. Okay, so this is all relatively easy. So this is a nice good one to show you with just the exacto knife technique to get that off. Okay, so, in, so you can see down in there when this cup is completely cure, I will actually just wash the inside of this cup because that's just from my football being shoved way down in there. That's not going to be epoxy or anything. So that one you see is now almost perfectly clean. There's a little tiny dot right there. All right, guys, so it was just that simple. So that's that cup. That was just a little bit of acetone and a little bit of our exacto knife work, and it's done. It didn't need any sanding. It didn't need any grinding. Uh, so let's move on. Let's do the. Um, let's go ahead and do the uh, plaid cup. So this is going to take some sanding. This is why I have my um, mask on. So I'm going to switch out the head. Uh, let's see. We're going to use a sanding edge first. I don't think this is the one for that. Nope. So I'm going to switch out the collet. So see, this comes with a bunch of different little heads that hold these different tools. And that is for that one. So it's that simple, guys. And then you put the, the head back on, twist it down. Put there, that in there. Then what you do is twist it down and you hold this button down. That, that will help you lock it in place. There we go. And we got our sandpaper. Put this tool over here. This is going to be a little loud, guys. Sorry. So what I'm doing... Whoop. What I'm doing is just cleaning it up right on the edge. Just caught it on the cup, sorry. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just sanding down the edge. And getting all that epoxy right off the lip.
thing then you can feel on the inside And so then what I'll do now is just very gently I'll just do very gently go along the lip of the cup so there's no sharp edge. There we go. It feels really good. Perfect. All right, so now that cup feels really nice along the edge. So what I will end up doing is probably one, I will scrub this really well with Dawn soap and wipe it down with alcohol and see if it shines back up. Uh, but if it still has a little bit of a ripple in it, I will go ahead, like if it still has a little bit of d dimness to it from being sanded, I will just take my finger and put a tiny bit of epoxy right there um, just to shine it back up. Um, but if you want, you can also just do another hole. If you're ready for it, this, uh, actually this cup might need it. One la last layer of Hag Method all the way around it. So that um, will smooth up your edge. All right, guys. So that was one with all the goop across the top. I just used this wonderful little tool, cleaned it right up. Okay, now let's go into our B cup. So this one I chose to bring on here because it's got glitter stuck to the inside. It's got paint. It's got all kinds of junk. So we are gonna work on this one. First, I wanna make sure the lip of this one is really clean uh, from epoxy. So we're just gonna do the same thing. So that one actually had a very fine layer of epoxy all the way around. I was just super careful not to get, come down on the cup at all or inside, because if you go inside, this is gonna scratch the crap out of the inside of that cup. So you don't wanna use the sander on the inside, just your X-Acto knife and the acetone. Okay, so now we've got the edge cleaned up really, really well. And now we're gonna take some acetone and I'm gonna put my glove back on to, um, protect my nail because I'm so fancy. Sorry guys. Took my mask off for just a second. Um, and we're just gonna go in. So most likely this glitter is not gonna come off. I think that it's attached down by epoxy, which is good because I can show you how I work with that. Some of it's gonna come, some of it won't. So I'm gonna use some elbow grease, guys. So I will work on the um, glitter areas a little bit and try to just let it soak a little bit in the epoxy. But that is stuck on there by the, I, when I did my hang method application for the glitter. 
some of the uh, epoxy was, must have been on my gloves and got inside the cup so that when I glittered it, some of it fell inside and stuck down to that epoxy, which it happens. And that's why I chose this cup because this is a, bunch, a bit more difficult to clean than just your average cup. So I wanted to show you my method. It's not that, it's not that exciting, guys, but um, it might help you guys on your journey as you're doing cups because I know, I, like I said, I get a lot of questions about this. So I'm going to stick this to the side. I'm now going to take my exacto knife. There is a little chunk glob here, but I know it's not even attached to the cup because I already sanded the edge. So I can go ahead and push and lift it away without worrying about the seal of my cup. So now I'm just going to take the exacto knife and scrape and just try to be very, very topical on this and scrape out those glitters. And you can do it like one at a time if it's very minimal. Or you can try to get underneath and lift the whole bunch up. But I just very carefully work it with my X-Acto knife if I don't get it, if I can't just easily get it with the acetone. Uh, but you wanna be very careful not to scratch your stainless steel. Uh, if you, well, if it's, if it's for you, it doesn't matter, I guess, but if you're selling it or gifting it, you want it to be perfect or darn near perfect. All right, so dump all that out of there so I can tell what is attached and what isn't. Grab my acetone again. And you're just gonna keep working that glitter just like that and working that acetone with, on top of that, the little bit of residue. It's very minimal, you guys, the, the epoxy on the inside, but it was just enough to get that glitter to stick down. So I'm just using the acetone to kind of eat away the epoxy. That's why you don't want to get acetone on the outside of the cup because it will eat away at that epoxy. Okay, and I'm just going to keep rolling around this cup. Also, if you guys are having a hard time getting a, 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 a soft edge up at the top, um, when you do your epoxy, there's a couple things you can do, but when the, the best and easiest one is when you're epoxying, just save a touch of that epoxy out on the side and let it sit for like 30, 40 minutes and start firming up and then drizzle it on the edge. Uh, because at that point, it's not gonna run as easy because it's started uh, firming up a little bit. And so it will stay in place better. So it'll stay on that rim for you. Um, another trick is to, once it's been going for about 40 minutes, um, lifting the edge of your turner up so that the epoxy, it's not moving like crazy, so it's not gonna bunch up, but lift the, the turner so that the epoxy, if it's going to move, it goes towards the lip, not away from it. Okay, um, that'll help too. Um, I am constantly fiddling per cup, because each cup going on my turner is different, whether it's a long cup or a short cup. Um, so I actually adjust my turners just a tiny bit for almost every cup I do, just to get that perfect finish. It becomes second nature, you guys. You'll, if, when you do these, you, one, if you try it, you're going to get addicted immediately because it's super fun uh, to create something gorgeous that everyone is and awes about. Um, and two, well, I haven't slept well and I already forgot what I was talking about because <laughs> I'm concentrating and talking to you guys at the same time. So I'm just getting in here and just very gently scraping out this glitter. I'm laughing because I just completely lost my train of thought. I would think I was telling you guys something important. Hopefully it wasn't that important. Okay. So then I just take a little pump of epoxy and wipe it out. Do a little extra rubbing to complete, uh, sorry, a little, um, use a little acetone, not epoxy, a little acetone and wipe it out. And just rub in that one spot for a minute and that acetone will be, um, work that uh, epoxy right out of there. All right, guys, this cup is pretty clean. There's nothing along the edge or down in it anymore. It just needs a good wash. So it looks like there's glitter in there still, but that's all loose glitter that's just falling in there. So that one now just needs to be washed. Uh, okay, let's see. Well, that one doesn't really, I'm, I'm a pretty neat worker. I was, I chose, I've been leaving these to the side to collect them. And I probably one out of every 40 really needs a good cleaning because I'm pretty, a clean worker. Okay, this one looks like it just needs a little bit of edge work. 
and inside work. And a lot of you are probably right now going, what in the heck is on that cup? Uh, this is one of my festival cups It's from my festival line. It's really, really fun. I have tutorials on it, guys, so check them out. Uh, because I love festivals. I'm a huge Stagecoach fan. So this cup was, and Stagecoach was actually just last weekend. So this cup was actually inspired by Stagecoach. And so it's my festival cup. It's, it's a super duper fun cup. Uh, but you can see that one was pretty much just paint on the top and the inside. It didn't really have any glitter or anything. I worked real clean on this one. And the top, I'm just going to give it a quick little check. what this sounds like on camera. I'm sure when I listen to it back, it's going to like sound like fingernails on a chalkboard. But it is necessary for you guys to learn. All right, so now I've got all that's left in there is pretty much just the dust. And that feels really nice and smooth up here. So we're going to leave it. All right, so that cup is done. So that was a really good um, show. Guys, the only thing I didn't get was to get a big clump of this. I don't have a cup that has a clump right now. I'm looking around it to see what I've got. But um, what you would do, I'll show you an example. So let's say I'm working on this cup and a big bowl of epoxy was up here, like a big, big bowl. What you're gonna do is from the inside of the cup, you're gonna get your torch going. Sorry, I'm just gonna give you an example even though I don't have anything. Let's just pretend that little gold drop is a big bowl. You're gonna get your torch going. You're gonna go from the inside of the cup and you're gonna swipe out, uh, out and up. Because you don't want to go along the top like this because you will end up affecting this epoxy out here. So you just want to go from the inside and just warm it up just a tiny bit. And then you can take your exacto uh, knife and then you can cut through it. It'll cut through like butter. See how that, that, I didn't have to work on that. It just lifted up because the heat will lift it away. But that's why you don't want to go and get this part hot from that side because it will lift away and remove it as well. Also, what you can do if you're struggling is take your exacto knife and heat it up really, really hot with your um, torch. Heat it up really hot and then push it through just like you would, we're doing the other one and glide it and push it through and the hot, hot, hot knife will cut right through the big bubble. And then you can finish off with the other techniques that I showed you. Um, okay guys, the reason, again, restating it, the reason you don't wanna just force through the big bulge of epoxy is because you will crack the seal against the top of the lip and it will be, the cup will be ruined. I mean, well, you can do a repair, but unless you're really skilled, you're going to struggle to do a repair on that. Um, I can do them, but that's for a whole new tutorial because that is a big process. All right, guys, I hope you learned something. Here's all the cups we did. Well, this was just an example cup. This is a funky cup. Um, here's the cups we worked on. Cleaned all the rims. All right, so... That is a quick little tutorial on how to cl clean the edges of your cups. All right, guys? I will see you guys on the next tutorial.